Well, you're a lot of woman, I think. I certainly am, and so is my dick. <laughs> I mean, like, my vagina. Are you a three-entry girl? Oh, yes. Sometimes four. <laughs> I can imagine. Four? Where's the four? I don't know, Robin. You saw what was doing down there. You saw <laughs> it was confusing. I have a very unusual body type. Right. What, how would you? What would you call that body type? Um. Hmm. He, she. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, now, uh, Nicole says she was a woman at birth. Yep, and she well, was. Well, things change. <laughs> I saw her, I saw her uh, yearbook picture. She proved it to me. Yeah, I did show and tell one time. I showed my privates. All the kids ran home <laughs> screaming. One kid gouged his eyes out. <laughs> to this day, he still won't talk about it. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm looking for the Eric the Actor um, theme song. It's gone. Did you guys take those away? Or did you give them to Fred? Or hmm. Are they gone forever? Not me. Is Eric on the phone? Yeah, I thought it would have been cool. I would have played his theme and then yeah. talked to him. Zach Act theme. And... Did you give him to Fred, Gary? The guy should have given him to Fred yesterday. <laughs> well, did, does he have him or not? Fred? Definitely yes. Okay, but where are they? I didn't get yeah. the, uh, maybe, he uh, maybe, the memo. Maybe memo in are, there or something. Yeah. He just yeah. doesn't I knew you guys were going to do it, but I never got the memo saying where they would live. Yeah. You're supposed to have ESP. Our system is flawless. Yeah. I'm exhausted already <laughs> from this joint. I have meetings after meetings every Tuesday about how to get organized and how to have all this stuff uh -huh. work, and then you... And Gary will go, well, it's, they did it. It is supposed to. And it was supposed to be done. It was supposed to be done. Imagine here uh, an Eric the Actor stump song, okay, if you would. Act, act. That's how I would do it if I had a crew that knew what they were doing. Yeah, Eric. Go, Marty. <laughs> oh, boy, where's he? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just thinking about the song that I'd be playing right now. But he seems so far away today. Gary, where is the song? If, if, if Sal put it in the system. I'm in a foul mood. It's the wrong day. There's confusion over which song we're Well, why is there... The Ak, Ak song from yesterday. It was yesterday's... I hope the song is funny. <laughs> After all this. Eric, I apologize. Your theme song is... Fred, just replay yesterday's show so people will be familiar with it. <laughs> I'll dig it out. I'm sorry. I, I get mad at the guys because the original premise was Gary goes, oh, no, 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 it's all taken care of. It's in the system. They just didn't tell Fred. And then and then Sal, somehow Gary and Sal Now they out. don't even know what you're talking about. It's like two nincompoops. Two nincompoops. Yeah. Two nincompoops. Two yeah. nincompoops. I went to Sal yesterday and I told him, every song that Howard plays today, after it's done, you give them to Fred. So then Fred has them for tomorrow's show. Right. So that, do you agree that's what should be done, right? I, I, I agree. So so why don't I have it? I don't know. Sal does it. I'm, I'm not even positive which one. Sal's not true. Well, obviously Sal is fucking moron with a capital M. So why would you trust him with this? Now you know not to go to him. He's a loser's loser. He can't do it. It's obviously beyond his process. I'd go right. I'd sit down with Fred after the show, and have and have Fred coordinate this. What is it, Sal? Where's the act? It's GP one and white second column. Now, what happened to it? Nothing happened to it. It goes in rotation. It's marked. It's timed, and it goes into rotation. Then there's another. There's a page called theme songs for callers. Oh, good. That we constructed so, for Fred. So but Eric, the actor, song wasn't in that one. Why? Why? Ain't good enough. I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, why would we trust a guy who doesn't because, know how many states there are? Because the there, states. there are certain songs that we put on Fred's bumpers page. There are certain songs we put on top of the page. And then yesterday, a whole bunch of new theme songs. Why don't you have a meeting every day with Fred and work this out? We do. We do. And I, for the uh, most I part, I update Fred on a daily basis. All right, good. It's well, the whole system's working great. Where's the Garrick song? It's in the second column and white. I, no, Fred, can you play that? Yes, I can. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes of the show have been eaten up by incompetence. I can't even enjoy this song now. Oh, 
Eric, Eric, we've run out of time to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> but we certainly are glad we got the theme song. We got your theme song on. The good news is your theme song's on. The bad news is we'll never know what you wanted to talk about. <laughs> Sal, will you write a song about how you're an idiot, and then we can play that when you walk in? That's your assignment today. I love Sal. He's a great guy, but I wouldn't leave him in charge of anything. Like, I like that he's in charge. <laughs> Gary, Gary handed off to him. And maybe it's time to look at the whole system, Gary. If you're handing off to a guy who can't pull it together. That's my guess. We were about to test him against um, Tan Mom. And then they gave him an assignment. I say get Tan Mom in here to put together the song parodies. Eric, I'm, I'm sorry we ran out of time. Uh, I hope you enjoyed really? your theme song. I hope you enjoyed your theme. All right, go ahead. What did you have in your mind? Oh, I was thinking today I would have to watch what I say because I don't pass obvious. But that kind of went out the window with me to you guys. Um, what do you say? What? I didn't get any of that. <laughs> I thought that I would have to watch how I talked. I didn't say any form oh or words. <laughs> I'm on cat. I'm obviously listening. You what just happened? <laughs> I'm so sorry I asked. It was so much better when I said we've run out of time. What's he talking about, Robin? The simulcast with the Today Show. He was afraid he'd be on it and would have to watch his words. Oh. In other words, he was hoping he'd be on the Today yeah, Show. Yeah, This is the Today Show. We're, we're on now. We're on live. It's, it's, it's fantastic. They can't even believe the ratings have gone through the roof with this opening of the show. No, Eric, the, the Today Show people are dropping by around 8.45, I'm going to say, somewhere in that 8 o'clock hour. And they're just... Oh, he's so disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to... Well, he's like a Wookiee this morning. They're going to... It's the cutest Wookiee I ever saw. <laughs> they're going to... Uh... They're going to come in here and, I guess, talk to us for just a few minutes to celebrate the fact that they have the Today Show on Sirius XM. That's the, that's the plan. Okay. All right, Eric. Thank you. Yeah, did you guys work over the whole thing? <laughs> what is going on with his phone today? Whatever it is, it's funny. <laughs> He's with the have Taliban. Looked, They're hiding in a cave. Sorry. Have you over the thing that I'm Eric, unfortunately, the phone connection is very poor today, and I, I do have to move oh. along. Thank you. Oh, my God. I don't feel... I don't feel... You sound hard enough, though. <laughs> yeah. I am... And I'm another... <laughs> She had plans for being on the Today Show. He's so I love him. He's so adorable. too how little he understands of what's going on around here we didn't say we'd be simulcasting the whole show. right yeah he sort of gets it but doesn't <laughs> you've heard of matt lauer he's matt lower <laughs> <laughs> all right uh let me get back to yeah, so it's pretty crazy outside here uh, eric the actor is on the phone now hold it eric i got a bunch of theme songs for you before you start what's the do you have them fred or do i i have hold on here's one oh, wait 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 Na-na-na-na, 
I'm um, not a black expert, but I would take not in my ass after I give head to a uh, fifth grade retard that comes in to my mouth. <laughs> You don't like the ack ack thing, right? Who, me? No, I do not. Oh. What? No, I do not. Yeah. But you got to admit, that does sound a little like you, the ack ack. No, not at all. Really? Ack ack. Hmm. I could swear it's your voice that's so close to the matches. Do you like when they chop up your words to, you know, say different things? No. No. You don't have much of a sense of humor, do you? Well, not on stuff like that. Right. But I watch some Capone. I watch plenty of funny midgets. I watch plenty of stand-up sitcoms and comedy movies, so I have somewhat of a sense of humor. Right. Eric, the complaining midget. Anyway, what can I do for you, Eric? Could I speak to you? I was just wondering, ADT last night did not show Rachel at all. Is she going to be on tonight? Hmm. That's a good question. I don't know how they edited it up. I uh, I usually get an advance, but I don't get it until like five hours before the show airs. So they edit right up until showtime. It's amazing to me. So I don't know. I don't know uh, if she's in tonight's episode or not. Okay. And the other reason why I called is five years ago, this date, or this day, I should say, I got released from being in a hospital in North Little Rock, Arkansas, for six days. That's when this congestive heart failure problem started. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Good to speak to you. Great story. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for his theme song. Yeah, that kind of helps, doesn't it? <laughs> kind of pulls everything together. Before I hang up on you, any other surgery anniversaries coming up? <laughs> no. Hmm. One more oh. theme song, friend. Oh, Let's try that again. Maybe we should make a bigger deal about the anniversary. <laughs> Eric, what was that anniversary story again? Maybe we missed some part of it that we didn't really understand. Just that five, year, five years ago today, I got to get out of the North Little Rock, Arkansas hospital after being there for six days. Exactly on this day? Heart failure. This is the exact well, thing. What, it was Wednesday, July 22nd. And well, what this is, is the 23rd. Yeah. Well, you yeah. realize it's not even it your anniversary. You missed it. It was a Wednesday. <laughs> yeah, but it's <laughs> today. Oh, my God. <laughs> Eric, your anniversary was yesterday. I know, but a year ago, or a year from today, it will be the same. Well, call us a year from today. <laughs> There's a Wednesday every seven days. You can't make Wednesday your anniversary. Right. Uh, 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 by the way. Wow. By the way. 
That was a great ending to that story. It, it's not even, you called in about your anniversary and, and, and through just a little bit of questioning, we found out and discovered that it's not even your anniversary. Oh, I didn't want, excuse me for not wanting to sit on hold yesterday when you guys wasted the whole first, the show, first, oh, talking about Benji. So that was a waste of time. It was a waste. Hmm. Well, it didn't sound like there was much Let me get this straight. resolved about it. You said a year ago today you got out of the hospital. Oh. Five years ago today you got out of the hospital. And then when we questioned you for one second, it turned out that it's not the anniversary. Unbelievable. And you're like, no, it was a Wednesday. All right. Anyway, thank you, Eric. <laughs> Yeah, by the way, ever since I've been on this show, being a wild thing, you make my pants or you make my cock shitty. <laughs> wild thing. Uh, 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 wild thing. My virtual. Uh, uh, uh. You are nothing but a worthless sack of shit. Uh, 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 uh. So come on and push your cock in my boots hole. Uh, 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 uh. I love Steve Langford's long penis. Wild thing. You were saying so that... I mean, what? I was saying it ever since I've been a part of the show and getting criticized about the pauses and stuff in my speech, I've been kind of studying other people talking on TV, and it's a normal thing. Even the president takes pauses when he speaks. Not in the sports, middle of words. <laughs> sports coaches, when they're giving interviews, take pauses in their speech. You just said talking. Yeah, you're pausing in the words. <laughs> Eric, the stupid... <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Eric. I hope you have a good day. Eric yeah. By the way, some of those act acts, some of them are from the movie, but some of them are actually Eric. Because Eric went on a show once and said, I don't say act act, and then Fred took it and played it all right. Oh, oh, it is Eric. Oh, it is Eric. So when I'm playing, this is this will let you know. Listen to this one. That's him. And that's him? That's him. I thought so. And this is Mars Attack. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Eric, it's you. Well, how other was I supposed to explain that I don't say that? But it's you. <laughs> Can you say it one more time really clearly and slowly? No. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric. Uh, listen, have a good day, and, and congratulations on your anniversary. Thank you. Eric. All right. Bye bye. I, I would have called in yesterday. Right. All right, Eric, the actor, everybody who uh, has been doing a lot of acting lately. Thank you, All right, Eric, the actor. I am um, not a black actor, but I would take up in my act after I give him to a uh, fifth grade retard that comes in to my mouth. Hey, 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 what part is that, that high part? Who is that? Is that Eric? High pitch Eric? It's him, yeah, screaming. I'm not Eric sure what it is. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> By the way, that is not Eric uh, issuing a plea for someone in the ass. It's obviously a song parody. Uh, it's funny, one of the things out of Comic-Con... I think it was on the wrap-up show, Paul Feig, the uh, director, famous director, Paul Feig. He's directed, uh -huh. Gary, what has he directed? Um, Bridesmaid and some other stuff, too. Very successful guy. He, was, he listens to this show, and, and Gary said to him, what, uh, what, who's your favorite whack pack? And got into a discussion. He likes Eric the actor. Gary said, would you ever hire him for a movie? And, and, and he said, Paul Feig said, no, he wouldn't hire him. <laughs> Because he said, the guy's such a pain in the ass, he hears him on the air. He goes, you know, seriously, movies is a big, you know, big budget, but you've got to come in on budget, and we can't dick around with a guy. 
you know, for for a one liner as a joke. So he was kind of uh, adamant about not working with Eric the actor. Wow. I mean, next time I talk to Eric, I'm going to point that out to him. Eric getting a reputation for being difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Who's your favorite whack packer? Oh, God. Oh, that's a hard one. Um, I think Eric. Has Eric been in touch? Has he been... Uh, no, I've not had the honor of, of uh, getting to have him turn me down for a job. He could actually get <laughs> in more things. And I know, just because I want, I want to put him in some things, but you go, like, all the troubles I hear on the show, I go, like, I don't... It's so hard to make something. You're like, I don't know if I can go through that. <laughs> Eric, Paul Feig, famous director, is saying he wants to put you in things, but you're preventing it. Exactly. You're getting in the I, way of yourself. Here's the best part. Uh, a supporting actor at best, an extra, has been deemed difficult. <laughs> I think we love more than dealing with a difficult person with one line. Right. There you go. Maybe Hansy is the next. Uh, the I don't know. Hansy, he was offered a job and he had a lot of problems. Yeah, he's another one. Hansy would be good in like a Middle Eastern Three Stooges kind of remake. Like he could be curly. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. The Palestinian curly. Yeah. Like those guys literally blow themselves up. <laughs> hey, Mo, let's blow ourselves up. He's like, my oh, you. Oh, <laughs> uh, Eric, the actor. Wow, how you doing? You must be calling in because your fellow thespian. Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah, so, you know, not many people have the name the actor, and uh... I am um, not a black actor, but I would take up in my act after I give him to. Uh... All right, enough of that. We heard that one already. Yes, go ahead, Eric. Well, I was calling because of the fact that last week I did another acting gig. I recorded for Brickleberry. Uh huh. Hey Eric, did it bother you that um, I saw a lot of people on the internet writing about uh, the wrestling franchise TNA? You were a part of it, and they were canceled. And yet, it's another thing you were a part of that got canceled. And I know the rap with you is everything Eric does gets He's canceled. The kiss of death, yes. Yeah, like you're kind of the kiss of death. And uh, now T TNA wrestling was canceled. Did that bother you? How many times do I have to repeat? myself. Go ahead. I don't have one thing to do with any of those shows being canceled. <laughs> no, no, but you were on TNA. You... Hey, 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 hey. Shows get canceled because lack of good writing, lack of good acting, lack of viewership. That's why shows get canceled. Yeah, but you got to admit, in a way, it's sort of unlucky when they have you on because they all get canceled. I don't think there's one show that you were on that ever survived. Survived. <laughs> I mean, you on. <laughs> okay, so then. It is kind of a coincidence. The show was Robin Williams, so you just mentioned. Yeah. I wasn't on that. Well, yeah, of course. Well, of course, other shows get canceled, but all of yours get canceled. Right. I have nothing. To do with well, that. we know, but it I'm saying we, we know you it had nothing to that. do with it, but we're, I'm just saying there's a body that people say that about you. Fuck yes. <laughs> because I, I know even some of the songs right. I get are like Eric the Show Killer, or, uh, you know, like, like this song. By Eric the, the TV Show Killer, <laughs> he's got carrot colored hair. Every TV show he goes on ends up going off the air. In plain sight got canceled, fringe and American dreams. Now FX has killed off legit, and he was only in one scene. <laughs> if you want that tiny man to be on your TV show, you're playing with dynamite. With Eric, your show might be gone by tonight. Listen up, all you producers. We know you have some empathy. But if you cast Eric the actor, your TV show will be his story. Which is kind of a funny song. I mean, all the coincidences. And then now TNA got canceled. Yeah. All I have to say is, shall grow up. <laughs> um, <laughs> grow up. It is, oh man! It is this simple. 
Hey, what's going on with you and Gonzo? I see he's on the line too. Let me let me see what he has to say real quick. What is it, Gonzo? Hi. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey. What's up, what's up, Hunter? Hey, what you, how are you and Eric getting along? Uh, not very well. Hey, not very well at all. Yeah, it's been, it, it, he's been a real dick because he's been a real asshole lately. I've been, you know, I've, I've been avoiding him. I, I, I haven't, I've, I've been trying to avoid the abuse, so I haven't really been talking to him much. But um, I did find it interesting yeah, that he got canceled. I see, I see by looking at your profile, you're still making up about me. What did he say? Well, like, I, like I caused a boy. Right. A what? He <laughs> caused <laughs> what? I don't no, know. Eric, it's 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 cold cold Eric, cold. Eric, did you cause a bowl eye? <laughs> yeah, I've never even been to Africa once. No, I think it was from when when Eric took his when Eric took his trip to the Congo. He got a bowl eye, and then he brought it back to the states. Is that that was just a rumor. That's a rumor that I heard. Yeah. So, what else did he write about you, Eric? Dumbass. The only foreign country that I've ever been to in my life is Canada. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Gonzo. Here's another also, song about Eric uh, killing off TV shows. In case you want to hear it, every show he's oh, been on not a song. has been canceled. He's won. Every show he. I thought it was a song. Sorry. Yeah, who was? Yeah, I also heard Eric was starting the ball. I thought Eric was in jail, so I'm surprised that he's actually on the song. How do you get Ebola in Canada, uh, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> I guess they were starting the wildfires in California. There was like a lot of wildfires, and I thought that you might have been in jail. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy that you you were able to. You started the. Uh, you started the wild. You said that Eric yeah. started the wildfires. Yeah, like I saw an, uh, the AP tweeted about uh, Eric, or they they said somebody was starting wildfires in California. You're saying intentionally he started them? Yeah, yeah. So I thought I was, I, I was pretty sure with Eric. Howard, Howard, don't even listen to that. I, the hell I can't believe. That's logistically. Why would, why, why would the AP tweet and report that, though? Well, you live in California, right? Yeah, Eric and I both live in the same city. We both live in Sacramento. Hell, so. Hello. Yes. You and I aren't the only two males in the state. Well, was it reported that Eric was uh, staying in the woods? I think that's what I read. Yeah, I was going through my tweets, um, my mentions, and I, I, I thought I saw that. Like, a lot of people were, were tweeting about it. So. Eric, do you hate, Eric, do you hate trees because they're tall and you're not? <laughs> <laughs> you are the biggest walk the planet goes <laughs> Eric, so, Eric, so what happened with TNA? I, was me. I, I really did too. I thought, uh oh. <laughs> Eric, what happened with uh, TNA? What, how, how did you manage to kill off that franchise? Because I was kind of upset because I know like the wrestlers they have families and stuff, and I know people like Hansy are big. Well, Eric didn't. Fans. Eric didn't cancel TNA, but it is a coincidence, I guess, that every show he's been on has has run into trouble. Yeah, I don't want him to be on Walking Dead. I really enjoy Walking Dead. If uh, we can just make sure Eric doesn't go on that show. I love Walking, walking Yeah, please, Eric, don't do Walking Eric, are you up for a part in Walking Please, no, no Eric. No, okay. So far, we're <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, Eric, you wanted to say something. What You said you just recorded lines for Brickleberry. How's that show doing? Is it... Uh, <laughs> that show will be done in a month. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't start airing episodes till September. Oh, they may never air. I hope that that, that show stays on the air because that's Yucko's show, and I hope it stays oh, on the air. If he kills Yucko's show, that, then that's a double tragedy. Right. Yeah. We're all going to be watching it to make sure that uh, we, we want to see if it goes down or not. What is it, Gary? Uh, Howard, you know who the great director Paul Feig is, the guy yes. from Bridesmaids and Heat and all those movies. So we had him on at Comic-Con. Yeah. And he talked about Eric in two ways. He said, first of all, he would never hire Eric because of, you know, he loves the show and he loves Eric and he thinks Eric's interesting. But he hears the difficulties with, that you get, you know, when you get Eric. But he also said that there's a superstitious part of him. Right. That <laughs> if I use Eric, will I be killing my project? Wow. Well, it's ridiculous. I think it's only a coincidence. Eleven times? No. How, how, how many, look how many shows there. Oh, oh, how oh, how oh, they've oh, all died. Oh, oh, oh. oh, 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 hey, Gary, who's bad with math now? I will have five gigs now. How do I cancel eleven shows? Right. <laughs> you, you win. 
<laughs> well, we're still here. Eric's on our show. Yeah, he hasn't and killed us. You're, 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 you're something special. <laughs> we're ground zero, I guess. <laughs> and Eric, Eric never acted on We're the roaches, roaches of the... <laughs> we, created, we created the evil. Yeah, we're roaches. You can't kill us. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Eric the show killer. Ah, come on. Yeah, Sorry. I, I, I wish yeah. the Strauss would call in again. Because when he talked to you, before I was on in plain sight, he said these words, in plain sight, it's having their final season. Right, right. No matter what. There you that go. way you couldn't kill it. He probably waited. Right, right. <laughs> All right, so there you go. There's proof, uh, Gonzo, okay? All right, well, Yucko, if you're listening, don't be careful, Yucko. I'm sorry for Yucko and the fans because uh, it just, uh, uh, I feel awful for all these shows that have been murdered by the serial killer. Oh. And let's go on to something, let's go on to something happy. Let's uh, talk about getting the Eric the Actor laid. I mean, when's the yeah. last time, when's the last time you got any, Eric? 2009. What? 2009. Oh, two, I think you said just the other night. I was like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> the world just shifted on its axis. 2009. You know, when you ask a guy, when he was last thing got laid, and he goes back years. It's depressing. Let's see. What year is this? 2014. 14. Let me do some quick math. Right. Uh, 2009. Then you, let's round that off to 10. Five, That's one five year. Five years. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> you. You want me to check that math, or uh, you got that right? I think a man who hasn't had it in that long knows. No. That Don't you picture, like, Eric's bed in next to the bed on the wall is like those chalk marks like prisoners put right. on the wall. <laughs> and then five years worth of marks. Mathematics just died. Yeah. Because Eric just did math. Eric, five years. That's a long time. And he loves, he did. He is, loves is it. Is it time to break? Bunny Ranch style? Yeah. He loves that Bunny Ranch. You loved it, right? He has one problem, though. What? With, with my condition right now i can't go to high elevation oh dear oh, wow. <laughs> Bunny yeah. ranch is in high elevation i would say you know the only pussy eric <laughs> yeah, is in high elevation is where he can't go is there some pussy palace that's on low elevation <laughs> Do you have an underground location for the bunny ranch? <laughs> Something at sea level, please. Yeah, anything at sea level. <laughs> Do they have a bunny ranch in Death Valley? <laughs> oh, my I actually, 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 one problem, though. <laughs> What's that? I can't go to high elevation. <sighs> oh, my I, God. I actually think I know some girls that would, that would actually care. So we live in the same town. If oh yeah, he such an unruly asshole. I, I would probably hook him up, but you think you can get Eric laid? Oh, I, I know I could. He's like a celebrity. Like I, I know some girls that are pretty hot that would that would be down if like, Eric's kind of a dick. So are you just really saying hot. that to screw with his head? Right. Or? Yeah. No, no. Actually, no. I, I'm I'm pretty sure I know at least you know two girls that would that would be that would be willing to uh, at least like give him like a hand job and like you know. So can you hook him up? And stuff. Yeah, I'd be happy to, Eric. But Eric's been kind of—he's he's been kind of dicking lately, so I'm not really. What if he apologized? If he apologized, yeah, and he unblocked me, I would be down for that. And you think you get him a hand job? Yeah, I could—I could send him some pictures tonight of uh, these girls. It might, it might, like, you know, I have, I have some pretty cute friends that would be, you know, they're, you know, Stern Show fans that would be willing. Do they? To do they live in high elevation? <laughs> no, no, no. Are they willing to come down? Are they willing to come down to Eric's elevation? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They actually they live in this elevation, so it'd be perfect for Eric. Would they be willing to give Eric a, a, a hand job in a submarine if we had a submergent? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure they would. Yeah, to do it. I'd like to interview a girl willing to have sex with Eric for free. <laughs> yeah, we can, yeah I, I can, I can, I can arrange that. And you say these girls are hot, huh? Yeah, I mean, well, for Eric, it's not. I mean, <laughs> the Eric, they're, they're, they're are they hot. fat? No, 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 no. Actually, I know one of them. She's uh, she, yeah, she's pretty hot. I, I actually used to bang her myself. But um, do you know any girls? Her. Like, would any of these girls take their boobs and jerk uh, Eric off of their boobs? <laughs> I don't think they would be down to like make out with him because that might be a little weird. But um, right. I'm sure they would be down to like you know like, like jerk him off or like give him like titty fuck Eric would be down for that. You think they put lotion on their hands when they jerk him off? Yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> they wouldn't do anything lame like wear a glove or something, would they? 
<laughs> I, uh, maybe. Yeah, who cares? No, 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 they wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't care if they wouldn't, uh, you know, as long as they were the gentleman. Eric, Eric's kind of like, uh, he has a really bad reputation of being an asshole, so if he could kind of switch his reputation and be a little mm-hmm. bit more friendly. Eric, what do you say? I do not know if I want to do this or not because I don't want to have anything to do with him. Uh, but Gonzo. Well, Eric, they're, but Eric, they're, they're Eric the Actor friends. They're actually, they're, they're just like friends of mine in real life, but they're actually like, you know, they're big Eric the Actor fans. Hmm. But they, you just say you kind of have a reputation of being a dick. So All right, you guys well, work this out. Eric I got shit to do anyway. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's fascinating, but. If it does go down, let me know, all right, if you guys work things out. Okay, yeah, Eric, Eric, email me, and we'll uh, we'll work something out. Yeah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> you got to not get jerked off. <laughs> Scott, Eric... you just jerk him off. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put on a wig. <laughs> Would you like that, Eric? Should I just put a wig on and jerk you off? Nope. Not interested. No, he's homophobe. All right, guys, I got to go. Eric, anything you want to say about Brickleberry before we go? Just that it should be on, like, Yucko said, January. Oh, that was an early promotion. Early pre-promotion, Gary would call it. Right, and then it was the quickest gig I had. I was only in the recording studio maybe an hour. Hmm. Boy, I can't imagine. What not, What was your line? I had about 10 to 12 lines. Wow. Can you give us one? <clears throat> not really. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, as a fellow actor, any statement about Robin Williams? Well, I enjoyed his movies. Probably one of my favorites was Patch Adams. Uh-huh. Not uh, critically acclaimed, Patch Adams, and yet the uh, audiences loved it. And Robin Williams actually said that uh, he makes no apologies for that movie because uh, the people liked it. I got a feeling Brickleberry is going to be joining uh, Robin Williams pretty soon. Mm. After. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope not. I mean, poor uh, poor uh, Yucca. Yeah, Yucca will be following. I mean, Yucca's finally having a life. <laughs> We're to Yucko. Yeah, break the jinx, Eric, and, and let's make sure that uh, Brickleberry stays on the air. The night at the museum, the movies were also good. Mm. Eric, you have very, um... Interesting. Do you like, do you like the most childish drug movies? Yeah, childish taste. <laughs> A lot of people will enjoy the uh, museum uh, franchise. <laughs> they were all five. Yeah, they were all five. They were all elementary school. <laughs> the third one's coming out later this year. With Robin Williams? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I think we had enough fun here. All right. Did, is there uh, anyone on Earth, by the way, who thought Eric would live longer than Robin Williams? Uh, no. No. Well, technically I haven't. I'm not 63. No, but you've, you know, you're on the planet and he's not. Yeah, if you do the mathematics, it's kind of... Right. You know. Like Ari, you always say, you're playing with the house's money, but, yeah, I'm glad. I hope Eric lives to be 100, because I, I love Because he's your whole life. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but I do want to get Eric... Like, you know what Eric sounds like a little bit? Robin Williams in Popeye. Do you ever think of that, there Robin? There you go. Yeah. Yes, because Eric, 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 even though Eric's an asshole, like I, I really do have Eric's best interest at heart. And, All right, so, good. All right, Gonzo. Thank you. And Eric, thank you. By the way, that was Thank one you. of the movies that was left off almost every list. Yeah, Popeye didn't do well. Yeah. No, they all can't be a, a home run. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you want to give one final Nanu Nanu for the uh, day? I guess so. Go ahead. Nanu Nanu, it's Johnny's birthday. What? It's Johnny's birthday today. Nanu Nanu? Did you hear? Can you say that again? I said that. I didn't hear it. Nanu, nanu. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, Friends lasted two seasons after I was on it. Right. What show is that? Fringe. Fringe. Yeah. Fringe. Oh, okay. Fringe. You still killed it, though. You just killed it a slow death. <laughs> All right, guys. I got to go. Later. It's like, it's like cancer.
<laughs> All right, yeah, good stuff. Bye, <laughs> idiot. Ack, ack. Show killer. Huh. Shut up, dick shit. <laughs> that took you a while. Not very quick today, are you? I was trying to think of what word I wanted to call you. <laughs> and you have a and you have a very and you have a very low IQ, so it takes a long time. No, so I'm geek. Part of that that test was not accurate. I'm above ninety. I know I am. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, were Eric, you were tested by a you were tested by a a, a, a real facility. How, how how are you above ninety? They they determine that you're ninety. The woman said his handicaps could affect his testing. That's mm -hmm. right. Yeah, the handicap's in his head. There's no, I mean, other than that. Mm -hmm. I don't, All right, guys. I got to oh, go. Bye. bye, Gonzo. Bye, Eric. Eric bye, Eric. The Gonzo and Eric always go at it on Twitter. Amazing. Yeah. Can you believe he can't get laid because he's got to go above? Uh, he's got to go into high altitude. Right. I that was a shocker. I didn't know that altitude was holding him back. Yeah. That's the best part of the movie. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, he'll be in promoting uh, this new uh, movie. Uh, as a matter of fact, I see Eric the actor is on the phone, who, by the way, has his own update on uh, work that he is doing in the acting field. As you know, Eric has been a very, very busy actor. And, uh, Eric, what is your update? First off, good morning, George. Good morning. How are you? George good. doesn't like you, Eric. What? Who, why did you say that? Just to bust his balls. <laughs> <laughs> you are such a rascal. <laughs> I saw on the Internet this weekend there was all kinds of stuff about Eric starting wildfires. Yeah, what was that? George, wildfire. Actually, uh, here is uh, Gonzo. She says he has an update on Eric, which is shocking. What is it, Gonzo? Hey, what's up, bud? Hey, uh, George, I'm a big fan of yours. Morning. Good morning. Um, yeah, I saw um, the Ferguson wild, um, the Ferguson riot yesterday. Uh -huh. I thought I saw Eric uh, uh, throwing uh, Molotov cocktails. At the police? Really? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to see if... Uh, Do you live in yeah, Ferguson, well, Missouri? Uh, Eric? No, 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 I was, I was watching this. Scene. Eric, please respond to this. Were you in Ferguson, and did you throw Molotov cocktails at the police? I am yeah, not in right. house. Hey, shut up, ass white. You burned down six churches, Eric. Please. I have not been out eight for almost two years. No, I'm pretty sure. I'll Eric, I believe you, but do you have any proof that you were not in Ferguson? Yes. What is so he's the proof? Starting, he's, starting, he's, starting, he's starting wildfires. He's starting multiple. What do you mean buildings. by wildfires? What did you say, Gonzo, about Ebola? That Eric was somehow involved. Yeah, there, there was an Ebola <laughs> thing too. Oh yeah, that was that was just a rumor, and that that wasn't true. Oh, it was but, not uh, true. He, he he was there is a warrant out for his arrest for starting the wildfires though in uh, wow. in California. I don't believe it. <laughs> There is no such warrant for my Excuse me, Gonzo, but I want Eric to, a chance to respond. Eric, sure. uh, how do you feel about the police? Are you anti-police that you would throw a Molotov cocktail? Oh, my dad was a cop. Oh, okay. So why a Molotov cocktail? That is, why, that is widely known. That is widely known. <laughs> George, did you know that? I did not know. You have a you have, to, you have an inside job, Eric, and and then and then like your brother is like a firefighter too, so it, it all kind of makes oh, sense the fires keep his brother employed. Is that what you're <laughs> yeah, so I think wow. Eric's, uh, he's masterminding some crazy, sh like all this crazy stuff that's been going on. In the is Eric industry. also throwing oh. Molotov? Eric, why are you so silent with all these accusations going on? Oh God, George, please don't. By any of them, this idiot says. Oh, that's what it is. That he said is that, or says, is the reason why I will never, ever unblock his ass. <laughs> you were, you, I would, I would, I would, you know, uh, Gonzo, you know, Eric was thinking of unblocking you on Twitter, and now, Eric, you claim you will never unblock Gonzo. He said that before and then you unblocked me, so Eric's, Eric's logic is kind of, uh, kind of stupid. So you're you're claiming he did unblock you. 
He unblock me like three times. He's just pushed it. He always says he's gonna unblock. He's never gonna unblock me, and then he ends up unblocking me. Eric, he's how do you again for a fourth time? Eric, how do you respond to that? Or I may have unblocked him before, but not again ever. Hey Howard, Eric's threatening to throw me off the Tower Bridge in Sacramento. <laughs> <laughs> I, I sent him. I sent him an email because I thought it would be fun for us to do the Wonderhood Challenge, the right. uh, that little game you're talking about yesterday, the sure. IQ uh, football fantasy. Quiz. Absolutely, yeah. So I told Eric, I was like, it'd be fun to do like a little challenge because Eric always calls me an idiot and he has a really low IQ. So I was like, it'd be fun to. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but Eric, I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sure I would beat you in the, in the Wonder Lick. So I, I emailed Eric that with a friendly little email. I said, Eric, let's take the Wonder Lick. It'd be fun for the show. And then whoever wins, like, if I win, you unblock me. If I lose, then Will you know, I'll it? stop calling the show. Eric, you no, he, no, he told me to go kill myself and jump off the Tower Bridge in Sacramento. Well, I understand so, why he's upset because you're accusing him. Then, you're, you're, you accused him of starting Ebola. You accused him of doing all different kinds of weird things. <laughs> Yeah, sure. There's nothing but excuse me of that I have not done. All right, well, Eric, you said the that... fucking image, her little trick. Eric just doesn't want to have fun. He's just, a, he's just an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> and by the way, stop playing the bully victim card, because you're the one bully. Look at, look at the email that you send me, Eric. If you, go, if, you go, if you go on Twitter, if you go on my Twitter account, you can see Eric's Eric's emails to me. They're clearly bullying. There's, I mean, it's it's an, it's a it's 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 sense, moron. I'm the one being the victim standing up to the bully. <laughs> How am I bullying you, Eric? I just email you and I say, let's I have fun and let's take this chance. Um, How am I harassing you, stupid? You're such a retard, Eric. I'm just, I'm just, I just asked you to take a challenge, and then you get all offended, and then you send me this crazy email with like nothing but caps, and like basically yelling at me through email and call me a, a dumb Gonzo, fuck. Gonzo, didn't idiot. you say? Didn't you say that you could get Eric laid? I did say that, and I told Eric I can get him laid, but he's he he hates me so much he won't even. I can't. Well, I probably can't get him laid because I, I don't know who's him, but I could probably get him a hand job at least. The very, at the very least. Gonzo, why are you picking on poor Eric like that? <laughs> I'm not picking on him, George. I, I'm, I, I seriously, I'm a, I'm a fan. No, George, George, George doesn't, George doesn't know the, our relationship, Eric. I'm, yes, I'm I don't. Of, Eric. But you're, you're yeah, being a, very mean to him. I know. I'm sorry, George. He just worked me up, George. You should. He, he's just been like sending really mean emails and like really <laughs> crazy stuff, and I do feel bad. I'm sorry, Eric. I, I, Is that true, I'm, Eric? Yes, he's bullying the he's bullying the ever loving shot on me, George. Eric, it's, it's, are you uh, are you confirming that? I'm standing up for myself. And I mean, have you been sending those? Gonzo. Oh, there, emails replying to his. If you go to if you go to my Twitter, it's not clear what's so, going on, so, George. So, yeah, who's, not who's bullying who? Yeah, because I'm coming in, in from left field on this. I don't know what's been going on. Gonzo sounded like he was bullying you, but then now it sounds like you have been, uh, there's a history behind your relationship. You have been uh, not very kind to him either. Not at all. <laughs> Eric, you want to apologize to Gonzo? And I'm an Eric the Actor fan. Um, Oh, you are. Like, I've always you been there. certainly don't sound like a fan. <laughs> you know, I, I know he got the best of me. Sometimes, like I, I, I let him get the best of me. Gary, what is it? What do you want to say about I this? Terrible. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I just want to say that I just spent the last 20 minutes reading an Eric um, email that he sent to all of us oh. with a plethora of ideas, just tons and tons of ideas. What does he have? Well, I'm going to go through some of them. It took me. A, it's a long time to get through them. Okay, the first idea he has is he wants to start an airline where. Uh, men could go to bachelor parties, so there's a stripper pole in the airline, but in the airline, there's a section up front for handicapped people with registered nurses. No, that's a diff. <laughs> wait, wait, diff Are you airline. making up? Uh, <laughs> I, I guess I am. I guess I am. Eric, explain it because that's a fascinating idea. So you want to start an airline for bachelor parties where there's a stripper pole. That's one idea. And then the other idea seems to be a special airline for people like yourself where they have uh, unbelievable first-class accommodations for handicapable people. Right, and then one thing else about the airline is the flight attendants would be all nurses or EMT, and then another thing is there would not be any nut 
narcotic. It sounds like a nut. No, 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 no. <laughs> it sounds like an, maybe no nuts. <laughs> Eric, it sounds like an, a, a, an airline that would be really just perfect for you. Well, Eric, you're a nut yourself, so I don't think you. Howard, every one of Eric's ideas is to benefit Eric. Right. Just so you know. And so, in, in well, other words, well, is Eric going to be able to take the the airline with the stripper pole? Well, I don't think Eric. I don't think Eric understands that the airline that he's talking about that would benefit him couldn't sustain it as a business because there's not enough people to fly. Yeah, but what if Eric, with all his acting work, he'd have to fly constantly? So and he, 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 can't, he, can't, he can't. He can't even go up to high elevations too. Right? All right. Here's another great idea that I love. Yeah, you can't even take the plane, Eric, because you can't go on high elevations. Elevations. A can with an oxygen machine. So why can't we send you to the bunny ranch to get laid and, and, you have, an and hook you up to an oxygen machine? <laughs> <laughs> well, why couldn't you come to the birthday show with the oxygen machine? At ground level. He's just being difficult. <laughs> See, Gonzo, oh, has, uh, Gonzo has a point. Yeah, he's always difficult with everything. Like even just trying to like just do the the most basic stuff with him, he's just like he hey, Eric, needs to be cool. I know that these are your ideas, but what about on that plane that has the private nurses and the EMT workers? How about if all the nurses have to have like double D breasts? <laughs> what do you think of that idea? That's my idea. Would you incorporate that or not? I don't know because that airline's off. Awesome. <laughs> It's a family friend, but you have now gone into his next idea. What's that? Okay. He has decided that he wants to get into a, a, a term I've never heard, but the restaurant business. It's, it's restaurants <laughs> with big-breasted women, so this particular restaurant that he's interested in opening up, this chain, is for people who are into big slabs of meat, but also girls with double-D breasts, and the name of that restaurant will be called Rats. Like that. Has he ever heard of Hooters? Yeah, there's the Hooters. Yeah, but hey, Rax is better. Because <laughs> it's big slabs of meat there. <laughs> all, all the, uh, I forgot, all the waitresses have to have D cups or bigger to work at Rax. Now, Eric, is that a family? Eric, is that a family friendly restaurant? That one would be the only one of the category that wouldn't. I see. The stripper pole in the airline is, not, is family friendly? No, 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 Robin. The category of restaurant. The other ones that are in that category, Twin Peaks, Hooters, and uh, Twisted Tilt, they're all uh, family friendly. So yours would not be. Eric, right. So that sounds very creepy, Eric. <laughs> Eric, would you be the guy checking to make sure all the girls had the proper breast size? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> well, he came up with the idea. You know, Eric, I want to say Eric is like a mini Steve Jobs with all his good ideas. <laughs> oh, there's way more. <laughs> what else? There's way more. Steve Jobs. Um, here's one no one's ever thought of. Uh, King of all media records. You right. should basically start a record label. Howard start a record label. I've heard that before. But um, Here's another one that Wait, I love. Many Larry Flip. But, but how do big titties work into that concept? That one it doesn't. But, but uh, there's, a lot, there's one that I couldn't fully comprehend that, uh, that involved... Um, figuring out how to modify the entire world for people like him. So to take stuff that's for average size people and make it for little people. But just mm. like as far as what? housing and everything like that. Right, like building small houses. So there'd be communities houses. of little houses. I guess. I yeah. guess. And here's my, one of my favorite ones. And he wants to do an updated version of Dougie the Puggy as if the original version was so popular. Yeah, it's time to update. It's time to update. You never even finished that, but... Yeah, oh. you never really... I finished... I finished it. It just has and got published. Now it's more about well, that was two thousand seven. So <clears throat> you know, it the uh, storyline is based in two thousand seven. So I just want to kind of, I guess, more or less scrap that whole storyline and start over with a more current up to date. So but, but, what was it, uh, you know, what was the time sequence that we need to change? What what about updating it? What what happened in Dougie the Puggy that was so 1980s or whatever it was? Well, George Bush was involved and he was the president. <laughs> All right, listen, I got to go. Is there any other? Go give me one more, because this was, this was the, the one that I totally couldn't, I couldn't follow it. It started out with saying he wants to prove that he's smarter than his IQ test. And again, Eric, if I'm getting it wrong, I apologize, it's, it's all over the place, but it somehow involves 
you creating an HBO show for him of some sort where he is... I couldn't believe it's, he's sort of like a mastermind of everything, almost like Charlie and Charlie's Angels. Right. Like nobody knows that, but he's really masterminding all this stuff. And I wasn't sure how that was going to, if he was playing a character, how that was going to tell the world he had a bigger IQ. Eric, you want to explain that one real quick? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I could have all the paragraphs different because he's mixing it up. I was saying that all those ideas together prove that I have an IQ higher than uh, 90. Who was saying it said idea number ten? So there was ten ideas. <laughs> idea number ten. I want to prove I have a higher IQ. And then you went out to this whole script for an HBO show. Yeah, you know, yeah, I, I, I think know. I think having George here, the appropriate question would be, George, how do you feel about Eric the actor claiming uh, he will not take any acting roles where he plays a gay person? Well, you know, I've been listening to all this, and it sounds like a science fiction world <laughs> in which all the rest of us are the aliens. <laughs> right. But he has announced on the air that he will not play gay characters. Well, then he's not an actor. Right. Some of the yes. greatest Thank acting you. performances have been by straight actors playing gay. You're talking, of course, about Jake Gyllenhaal in uh, Brokeback Mountain. You're talking uh, Jared Le uh, Leto. Yes, Jared Leto. Not an Oscar for it. Matthew yeah. McConaughey. Yeah. So Eric doesn't yeah, want to be a real actor club. and certainly doesn't want to qualify for uh, an Oscar. And did you know also, George, that Eric was following a, uh, unknowingly he was following a transgender um, person, and um, it was a male, a male to female, and he found out that it was a transgender and he unfollowed and blocked her. Yeah, what do you make Only, of that? Just, that because, just, because, just because she was a transgender, which was, I think, I feel personally was kind of a... Kind of out of line. It is out of line, and yeah. I think it reflects very poorly on you, Eric. All I right. mean, we let's find out what Eric has to say. The 21st century, George. Uh, it's let let the man defend himself. All right, let's All hear right. you. Go ahead. Okay, I realize you're maybe talking with. <laughs> what what else? Oh, yeah. Doesn't matter. Oh, I love it. I mean, and there's silence and some garbled <laughs> sounds. Yeah, her name is Kira James, by the way. You guys, she's a very, very sweet woman, and Eric just, just offended her. She, she, yeah, just because she was, you know, had a penis at one point. Eric I go, decided just to say fuck her. I go, uh, Eric, defend her. Like, <laughs> I don't think there's any kind of justification about it coming from uh, Eric. Eric, oh, well, let Eric is it just silence? Go ahead, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason why I want to the shit that I was getting from you and others, um, so if you had left me alone, I wouldn't have blocked her. I would have just unsolved. But what did she do? She didn't do anything to you. She was just, just a person that happened to one at one point have a penis and then what have a she? you know have a surgery and then. All right, guys, I gotta it. go. <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I, he was attracted to her. He was attracted to her, and he felt he felt weird about it. And he, he well, Gonzo, yeah, if you give the man a chance to talk, I, I, I can't really understand Eric's defense, but I'm sure there's a good one. Well, he still hasn't told George why he doesn't take gay roles. Uh, well, I don't understand the sounds he's making. <laughs> speaking a whole different well, alien everyone, language. Well, let Eric speak. Go ahead, Eric. Okay. Now, I wholeheartedly respect gay people. I support gay people. I think they have the right to be married. They have the right to serve in the military. So I am in no way, shape, or form a homophobic person. So would you oh, you were being mis misrepresented then. Well, well, why don't you take gay roles? Answer the question. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I think the people that are are completely fucking ridiculous. They're mm -hmm. nothing different other than the fact that a gay person wants to be in a relationship with another Why guy. Why will you not play, a, uh, let's say, a cross-dressing man? Yeah, Ronnie. Played did on. you see? Did you see uh, te uh, Texas uh, or Dallas uh, Bias Bias Club? Society, Bias Club. No, I'm not. I don't think he'll even watch it. Jared film. Leto played. I don't think he'll even watch a gay film. Uh, will you, Eric? Will you watch a gay film? I think he's afraid if he watches a gay film, he'll turn gay. So he's like. And will you ever watch a gay film? I've 
seen bits and pieces of Brokeback Mountain because my mom was watching it on the hotel TV. Why not but you watch, don't watch gay movies? And you won't act a gay part? And you call yourself I, an actor? It's all rude. they got to throw on that. I watch Philadelphia. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. Tom Hanks. Right. Yes. yes. That's good. <laughs> Tom Hanks. And what did you think? <laughs> it was good. Eric, you mean to tell me, if I tell you right now that in the next Star Trek film, you could play opposite George Takei as his gay lover, you would not take the movie? No offense, George, but no. Because you're not an actor. Yeah, I'll take you just proved that you're not an actor. All you have to do is be his husband, you know, and, you know, and maybe give him a hand job in the shower. That would be the only thing you'd have to be a called. Yeah. A, <laughs> a real actor and knows wrestling. how to play a character other than himself. Can you do that? I'll blow you in the transporter room. <laughs> oh, I'd be transported. <laughs> Eric, are you willing to watch Two Men Kiss? I prefer watching two women kiss. No, that's not the question. Would you, would you kiss me? <laughs> I'd I pay to see that. <laughs> I would, I would do, as a matter of fact. <laughs> All right, but you do, why don't we do a quick screen test? Okay? <laughs> Eric, you're in a scene with George right now. You're on the you're on the Star Trek Enterprise. Uh, you're playing his husband, and you say, George, I'm madly in love with you. Okay? And action. Hello? <laughs> <laughs> Eric? I'm not I'm not doing that. Right, there we go. See, I told you Eric will not take it. He is not an actor. You gotta take that word the actor off his name. I'm not going to. It would break his heart. Eric, I well, love you, but uh, uh you know, listen, he's not comfortable playing gay roles. And he's not even it. comfortable watching gay roles. You know what? Eric is re representative. He hasn't seen whoa, 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 whoa. Eric is Colin, there there I have to stop you. <laughs> oh, you—you you got to be. I was going to say something, George, that's yeah. relevant, I, uh, and this is I really want, important to say to defend Eric. That many I, actors, I, leading actors in Hollywood, will not take gay roles because they are afraid it will hurt their image. That is true. Eric does not stand alone in the acting community. We have uh, to just find this out about right. it. Eric's only one of the honest ones. Honestly, I mean, uh, in his defense, uh, he does admit that he will not take gay roles, but. Uh, if you notice, uh, I never saw a lot of uh, leading men not to, you know, they, they they avoid the gay role. Even well, um, yes, that is true, and even, that is because part it's part of the the societal phobia. Of, even Will Smith, when he played a gay role, refused to deliver a gay kiss, which was part of the uh, character's role. I'm going to change Eric's name to this. Yes. Eric, the super straight actor. <laughs> because he will not, he will not take a gay role. Uh, that's a thought. Well, I, I would still uh, chop off that actor part. Okay, fair enough. We're just going to have to Eric, leave it there. Eric, have you ever had a gay dream before? Like, have you ever fallen asleep and, like, had, a, like, a gay dream? No. Uh, I guess you have. I doubt that. Oh, Tab Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> he was my crush when I was young. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, if I, it, it, had I only known that he was gay. Oh, my God. You could have gone and visited him. Oh, my God. Is he not was. with us any longer? Uh, no, he's not uh, an actor anymore. I mean, he doesn't have a career. That's as good as being dead. <laughs> uh, George, would you be willing to make love to a little person in a movie? Mm. Of course I would. Of course, because you're an actor. the role calls for it. Right. Hey, George, did you ever uh, meet Eric in the Brambles back in the South? <laughs> hey, uh, it's called the Rambles. Oh, the Rambles. Yeah, Howard's been calling it the Brambles. Bramble. I heard it was the Brambles. <laughs> no, it's the Rambles. I like the Brambles more. It's hey, uh, by the way, uh, Reese Witherspoon is on the phone. I want to say a quick hello to her. Eric, you're an actor, so you can stay on with her. Yes, Reese, what's up? Hi, Eric, it's Reese. Yes. I, I love you. I would love to act alongside of you. Can we rehearse a little bit? I'm not falling for this. I'm not kidding, Eric. I listen to the show. I love Howard. 
Ray, thank Valerie. you, first of all, for calling in and speaking with Eric. I think it's great. Uh, go ahead, do a scene with Eric. Eric, come on. You got to start, and he'll 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 fall in. He's an actor. Eric, tell me you love me. I'm not falling for this. I'm not controllable. You're blowing it, Eric. <laughs> You're blowing it. All right, Reese Witherspoon calling in and uh, demanding Eric a scene. Eric will not do a scene with her. <laughs> All right, well, there Eric, you go. Eric, tell me what you love best about me. All right, thank you, Reese. It was a waste of time. Eric, uh, thank you, and uh, thank you for calling in. You're going to the well one too many times. <laughs> uh, he, he can only go so far. <laughs> and, uh, Eric, thank you very much. Check out Brickleberry on the 16th of September. Oh. When Yucko said it, my episode will be on. Fair All enough. Right. And by the way, Eric claims he is not the uh, originator of Ebola virus, and he was not <laughs> in Ferguson, Missouri. <laughs> and he doesn't start wildfires. And he didn't start, you did not start in the wildfires. In California. Right? Right. Right. Okay. And I'm not any older than 39. Oh, okay. So I was not <laughs> going anywhere in the 70s. Okay. Where did he say you went? He said that George asked him if he'd ever met me at whatever place that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Brambles. No, the Rambles. <laughs> Rambles. All right, thank you. <laughs> he wasn't right. born then. Eric, the actor, everybody. Eric, the incredibly straight actor. <laughs> na 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 na. Na 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 na. Hey, hey, hey. Goodbye. All right, thank you. We're going to take a break, and then we'll be back right after this. Um, I've got like two seconds here for Eric, the actor. Do you want to talk to him? Amazing that Casey's life has become a soap opera after death. Casey Kasem, by the way, is still not in the ground. No. As far as we know. He's still on tour. Uh, not a black actor, but I would take that in my act. All right, all right. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me get to this. Go ahead, Eric. Good morning. Morning. I was calling because I haven't had the chance to talk to you about the Ice Bucket Challenge and the fact that I was nominated not only by Jack Gifflin, but a friend of mine on Twitter named Matt Morgan. Also nominated me. Zach see, Efron? Zach Efron nominated. Hey, by the way, Eric, did you see my uh, Ice Bucket Challenge? Yeah. Did you think his body yeah. looked nice? What did you think of my body? <laughs> <clears throat> no comment about that, but I'm commenting. No. Really? You know, Benji's the least man enough to admit I'm in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't you admit at least? It doesn't mean you're gay to admit that I'm in good shape. A shot glass, Howard? You yeah. chose to use... A shot glass instead of an actual bit. Oh my! If God. I was able, if Eric. I was to do it medically, I would have used the bucket. Eric. Oh, how do you know Howard doesn't have an issue? How do you know I don't have a medical issue? Oh, you're oh, the I'm, only one who has a absolutely. medical issue. <laughs> I was told by my Stanford doctor not to do it. And guess what? Guess what my Stanford doctor told me. <laughs> Not to do it, okay? Thank so you. he found a creative way Yeah, at least I was funny it. about it. Instead of you going, I I'm going to do it. So Zach Efron, the actor, actually nominated Eric, the actor. Here it is. Eric, I got to hear that. You know Eric must have been traveling oh, when he got there. Oh, my goodness. That was way cooler than anticipated. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, for my nomination. I donated, and I... Uh, nominate Rob Pattinson, Matthew McConaughey, and Eric the Actor. Wow. Eric, you must have been beaming that someone of stature recognized you. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I did donate, even though I couldn't do the bucket challenge, I did send in some money. Do you think Zach is good looking? I'm not commenting there. Oh, my God. Wow. Have you so ever good. seen a handsome man? Who do you think is handsome? I don't know. <laughs> you ever saw a handsome man before? You're so homophobic, you're afraid to say a man is handsome? I am not 
homophobic. Who is Bill, who's built better, Howard Stern or Zac Efron? Who has a better physique? I don't know. You know. You've taken a look, haven't you? You look at wrestlers, you can tell if their body is nice or not, right? Oh, yeah, what else? All right, who's the guy in wrestling with the best build? John Cena. Oh, you're so gay. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's a heart problem of yours, huh? What, ma what makes his body so nice? I don't know. You know. His muscular rump. It musculates you. <laughs> All right, Eric, I got to go anyway, but Eric didn't take the ice bucket challenge. And here's Eric in the buzzkill mode, turning it down. Unfortunately, due to health reasons, I will not be able to take you up on your nomination. Then, and, you know, hopefully you have a great day. Hopefully you have a great day. I like that he had a need to explain that he couldn't. Take it. You could have done exactly what Howard did. Yeah, you could have done an ice bucket challenge and made it funny. All right. Just because our Stanford doctors told us we can't do it, we still can make it funny. By the way, Good Day LA even brought it up that Eric the actor. Eric's getting quite the name out in Hollywood. Wow, Nanu, Nanu. Zach Efron's ALS Ice Bucket Challenge was a high school musical reunion of sorts, joining Ashley Tisdale after she challenged him. Zach challenged Matt McConaughey, uh, as well as uh, Pattinson, this guy. Matt McConaughey was shirtless anyway, so he's always ready for an Ice Bucket Challenge. Rob Pattinson was challenged as well as Eric the Actor. Any Stern Show fans will know who Eric the Actor is. But of course, he's such a contrarian. Eric the Actor, uh, he has appeared on numerous TV shows despite his serious his disability, he responded on Twitter by saying he will not accept the challenge. Wow. wow. Will not even donate or anything. No. That's a blow to Stern Show fans yeah. as well as not Alex. even Has well, everybody here done the I challenge? <laughs> How much money did you give? A hundred. Wow. Where'd you get that? This is guy I know. That's digging deep, so God bless you, Eric. No. Yeah. You didn't have to give a hundred. They obviously were reading the wrong Twitter account because I still have not tweeted since April. All right. Uh, All right, Eric. Anyway, Eric clearing up the controversy of his uh, ice bucket challenge and Eric admitting that John Cena has a really nice body. Yeah. Uh, yeah. A lot of the guys in here want to see the receipt for his donation. <laughs> you don't believe they it? They don't believe it. No, yeah, people don't believe it. Eric, you got any proof that you donated? I will send it in. All right. Hmm. How about Eric being mentioned in the news? On, That's know, amazing. That's good for his acting career. Oh, yeah. Two amazing things that Zac Efron mentioned him and that it made the news. And the third thing, that John Cena has such a great body. Well, that's going to be headline news tonight. Right, that Eric the actor has said, he's hot for <laughs> The best looking guy, the best looking wrestler he knows. Can I? You want to come over and look at some hot videos of John Cena? <laughs> no, I would like to get out a little promotion. Then. All right, quickly, because I got Gavin Ross, and I want to talk to him, man. He's hot, too. Yeah, he's a good looking dude. You'll, you'll want to check him out. <laughs> Will you shut up for a minute? <laughs> Rickleberry, next Tuesday night, 20th Central. You're an amazing promoter. Wow, I can't wait to tune in. <laughs> All right. Hey, before we go, what's John Senna's best uh, feature? I don't You I don't do, want... too. Stop it. Yeah, you said he had the best body. What's the best what's so about best? It? Yeah, What about it? His ass, his legs, what? His cock? What is it? Chest? What makes it so good? Packs, abs? What? I don't... I legs? Don't check out. Something like that. But what makes you say he has the best body? I was just trying to come up with a name to shut you up. Uh, but there must be something about it. I mean, his packs, rock-hard ass. His <laughs> I 
like <laughs> his <laughs> guns. <laughs> his buns? His guns. Oh, guns. <laughs> I thought you said guns. <laughs> Does he have big guns, Eric? I don't know. <laughs> I never looked. <laughs> All right, Eric, I'll let you... Yes. What? Big biceps. Big biceps. He has big biceps, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I knew you knew. Mm -hmm. Pythons. But sort of, sort of, a lot of the professional wrestlers... But these are the best, right? Mm -hmm. each other up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eric, thank you. All right. If you were in a movie and you had to kiss a guy, it was a choice between Zac Efron or John Santa. Which one would you choose? You got to choose one. Neither. Ah, see, homophobe. Oh yeah, unfortunately. Right. How about a new challenge for Eric? The Stanford doctor said no more challenges. Uh, uh, this one he could do. He could kiss a guy. Oh, he ain't going to do All right, Eric. People <laughs> would donate to your charity. All right, later, man. <laughs> Bye for now. Bye for now. All right. Sure. Uh, Yucko, what's up? Yucko. Hey, no. Hey, no. Hey. Hey. Uh, Wiggleberry comes on tonight at uh, ten thirty on Comedy Central. Had a problem with uh, Eric the Midget, if you can imagine that. What's the problem? Um, well, we were going to do his episode uh, first, but uh, there was a problem with the audio. Um, you couldn't understand the Eric? Uh, no. He, he had. An what Yucko's day. talking about? Yucko has a TV show that's animated and. Now, because it's animated, they have, you know, obviously people do voices, so they hired Eric right. to do a voice. So is Eric in or out? Well, I sent you the audio. I mean, like, the the Fox executives really like Eric. They're, they're fans of his, but the, the guys on Comedy Central side, you know, aren't in love with it, so... Hey, you Yoko, know, no one is. I'm not as clear as Eric the actor. Now. I don't know what the f*** you're talking about. You're annoying me. I don't know what you're talking about. You're I'm talking about you're Eric hired. Audio. Yeah, so is he in this episode or not? Not tonight's episode. It's going to be later on down the, in the season. So the problem with the audio is what? Or are you just calling it, in for it, a plug? It sounds horrible. <laughs> what is he saying, Rob? Why he I... sounds horrible today. He's yeah. saying Eric sounds horrible. But Eric's in the episode. But not tonight. Who cares? Who gives a f***, Yucko? Yucko, who gives a f***? Is Yucko, Yucko, is Eric the actor in your show or not? Not in tonight's episode. But, but, and it's, but the episode, is he in some episode? Not yet. His, his images. What? His images. How is this? Right, and we recorded his audio, and he had to go to Sacramento. He asked for a couch, and it just doesn't sound that great. I recorded uh, the audio no. myself. Uh, uh, Yucko, I, honestly, I'm not following. Eric, do you understand what Yucko's talking about? Kind of, but I, I was not aware that it sounded bad. And by the way, that Yucko said that there was a couch... There wasn't. I sat in my wheelchair. Yucko, I don't understand. You hired Eric the actor. Er, Yucko, you hired Eric the actor for your show. You know what Eric sounds like. I mean, it's no secret. He's on the air every day. And now you're I saying, know. And now you're saying that. <laughs> Howard, the people uh, who are executives on the show are fans of his. I, you know, I was doing him a favor by putting him on the show. And it just doesn't sound that great. Okay. When would you expect but Eric to sound great? Isn't that, the funny, is, isn't that the funny part about having Eric yeah. on your show, that he doesn't sound great? Or am I missing the joke? That's the fun it's of the having It's a character called Wheelie Dan. What do you say? It's a kid. I don't know. I'm called Wheelie, Wheelie Dan. Dan. How do I get He's out of this? talking when we talk. Yeah. I know, everyone's talking over each other. It's just a nightmare. I don't know, maybe I'm just in a bad mood, Yucko. 
I just don't get your pop. Well, everybody's telling me to take him out of the episode or the show's going to get canceled and you'll be doing a eulogy for my show. Yucko. Uh, 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 ah, uh, uh, this is some kind of gimmick. No, what is this, no, no, this is Yucko trying to get a plug. Just, just call in and plug your show. You don't have to go through all this. You don't have to jump through hoops of me. We're old friends. That's what I'm saying. It's a gimmick to get a plug. Yeah. All right. You watch Yucko's show tonight. Okay, Yucko. Thank you. Rickleberry. Right. <laughs> Bye. Hold on. I got to hang up on. Oh, Eric, hold on a second. No, wait. No, wait. No, no, no. I in front of JD's girlfriend. Okay? That's what I was calling about. All right. Thank you. Bye. Eric, what's up with you? Oh, I want to set the record straight about the AOS. I did. No one cares about that, that either. <laughs> I don't care about your ALS challenge, honestly. I, whatever you do is fine with me. Who cares? Setting well, I'm being great. Good record. There I'm is no record. Home. Nobody's thinking about you. <laughs> okay. Trying to explain. I mean, being called a liar by people on the Internet, uh, Gary, and other people. Gary told me he didn't I, call you a liar. He said that he basically had heard from someone that the $100 you donated for the ALS challenge was given to you by a person in the audience. Who cares? It's fine. The point is that you didn't take right. the money for yourself. You gave it to ALS. End of story. We're proud of you. And I don't know why Gary has to comment on that. $100 to ALS is good. Who cares? Well, it's morning of the... Last time I was on air with you, he claimed, oh, I want to see the receipt. I don't believe it. Yeah, I, Gary says uh, dumb things, too, you know. Gary's sometimes a dummy. <laughs> what is he? What is he? He doesn't know, need to see a receipt. Look at Gary. I need to see a receipt. I don't believe you give $100 to ALS. How much did Gary give to ALS? $100. $100. So there you go. Big deal. Hundred dollars. You're gonna find a cure. And that is the way <clears throat> I cure the nurse. Mate, this is probably the biggest group of Johnny so far. I want to see Gary's receipt to ALS. <laughs> I'll see it thirty seconds. Good. I want to see it. I was supposed to be in LA this week, starting today to Friday. Johnny's completely screwed up. Now I'm going to be home the whole week. All right. I was Aww. supposed to go down there and wow. hike with Barrett Holtz, go to the Jimmy Kimmel show, and meet a bunch of other people. Yeah. All right, Eric. Screwed up. Okay. That's and too bad. Right. Well, why don't you take responsibility for yourself instead of having Johnny do shit? And I please say this last thing. Okay. It's Jan's last week of being here. He's going to leave on the 21st or 22nd. Who's going to take care of you? Who's going to help you? Yeah. My parents. Oh, that sucks. Wow. We'll probably never hear so, from you again then. What do you mean your parents? Oh, I mean, no. No, no, no. I'll, I'll still call in. Doesn't Jan, I, doesn't Jan bathe you and drive you and do everything? The driving part, yes. Oh, he doesn't bathe you? No, I could. I pretty much handle that myself. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what, where's Jean going? Yeah, well, why is he leaving? He's got to do this, do what he does for me, for his parents um, in yeah. Arkansas. Oh. Uh, Jan is a good dude. Yeah. I mean, like, he must resent all these people that he has to take care of. It sounds like he's got that servant's heart. How is Jan going to uh, be able to make? Was talking about how is Jan going to be able to make a living if he's doing that for his parents? They collect the same thing he collects for me or oh. from me. You know, the the Arkansas area, I guess, will give him money like the Sacramento 